And I see that you've uh, jacked up the, the front of this Audi, so shall we go and have a look? Yeah, why not, yeah. So I guess the first thing to do is to note the uh, tyre size and the, the details written on the, on the tyre wall. Yep, you can make a mental note of it, or if you've got a memory like mine and you forget, then it's always good to write it down on the VT40 and you won't make a mistake then. And if this was a, a Class 5 or 7 vehicle, we'd also need to note the load indices or ply rating. That's correct, yeah. That's testable on those classes of vehicle. We'd also need to note the speed rating, which is also testable. So we'll make a note of that on the VT40, but we'll look at those later on. OK, so let's stay with the size of the tyre. They must obviously be the same size across each axle. Yeah, that's correct, but there's a couple of things to consider. And firstly, you may have a standard tyre where the aspect ratio is not marked on the sidewall. Now, the aspect ratio is this number here, isn't it, after the slash, right. which, on, which on this tyre is 65%. What does that actually mean? Well, that's the ratio between the height of the tyre wall and the cross-sectional width of the tyre. And 65 would be a, a low-profile tyre. So what would be the aspect ratio of a standard tyre? Well, a standard tyre, if there's nothing marked on the sidewall, uh, we'd assume that to have a ratio of 82%. And for a car, that is almost the same as an 80% ratio. And these can be mixed across the same axle? Yeah, they're almost identical in size. OK, so what's the other thing to look out for? Well, you may come across a tyre that's dual marked. There's an example in the inspection manual that says you may have 18575R14, and when you look on the tyre, it's also marked 185R14. So if a tyre was dual marked like that and the tyre on the other side had either of those markings, that would be OK? Yeah, that would be fine, but if tyres are a different size across an axle, then that would be a reason for ejection. So what if a space saver tyre is fitted? No, that's not allowed. That's a temporary use spare wheel. And you can see it's clearly marked on it, temporary use only. So that's a reason for ejection. What about if there were two space saver tyres fitted on the same axle? That's still a reason for ejection. Of course, we don't have to worry about uh, tyre sizes when we're testing a bike. No, you're right, that's not part of the bike test, but there are other issues with bike tyres, so let's go over to the bike, shall we? OK. Mm. 